All right, episode three. <clears throat> you can hear the jingling in the distance. This is the house I was speaking of that is setting on fire over here. I imagine all of these can eventually be unlocked, but we have to figure out how to do that. So for now, we are walking through the way that has been opened. She is drawing something on the floor. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. Is this glory? What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. Hello. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She's so happy to she see us. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Rose's coming changed something about this place. Castle Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? She walks the so bell slow. Tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> She's just locking me in here, laughing like it's the funniest <laughs> thing. Here? Can we see that drawing she was drawing? There it is. It looks like the Mega Mycete symbol. I think. It almost looks like a six, actually. Like there's four spokes and there's some kind of symbol in the center. That is interesting. So she has locked us in here and now all of this is new. Here we see a whole lot of flowers. These have not been here too long because the frost would have killed them. So, for whatever reason, there are flowers up uh, against this. I don't know why Ethan's swipping, swipping, swapping through his guns. That is weird. <laughs> Still a thing that I think is weird. So, there's like these flowers and strings. Wait, these might actually be peppers. Those are dried peppers. And flowers. That's interesting. I've seen that decoration here, and by here I mean California, and I honestly don't know what it means, but I've seen it around churches. And there's the Virgin and the Child, Mother Miranda on fire, the Mega My Seat with blood dripping, Mother Miranda again, Mother Miranda with villagers, um, like they're worshipping her as she is floating. And that is too dark to see, but it looks like a person on their knees and Mother Miranda with her hand reaching out. So we hopefully will see repeat images of that. Yeah, like here here it is again. Greater detail. I wonder what they were burning. Yeah, there's a little bit better visibility for it, but not the best. I'll keep looking. There's a lot of flowers. Flowers as a decoration on the windows. Now we enter in here. What do we see? More flowers. A pillow ripped open. And when I say more flowers, I mean more flowers on the decorations, the curtains. This looks like a house from a particularly devout villager. I think somebody lived here. I don't see a bed, though. Maybe be behind this? Nah, you can't go past that. Here's the same paintings. There's a note, but before we look at that note... Temp fluid. There's garlic cloves, antlers, Mother Miranda. It's a very pretty setup. And then we have that symbol again of the Mega My Seat here on the floor in white paint and candles. I wish I could read th read those alchemical symbols. I bet that would be a cool thing to study, just to get more insight into the lore here. It'd be an absolutely troll thing to do to have those symbols mean nothing and to just look fancy for the sake of the game. Let's not forget about that note. Oh, great lichens. The fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Now, you can open up the journal and look at things. Underground buildings? The village. Here's the journal. Interesting. So, here's a new one. 
W, Objectives, Turn the Pages with AD. I want to show this because this is not a thing I've really seen anyone else pull up. February 9th, Dawn, Some Forest. It should have been a night like any other. But then Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. He took Rose away, shot Mia right in front of me. I was knocked out, and now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. What the hell is going on? February 9th, early morning, Village Square. I found a village just outside the forest, but one of the villagers was attacked and dragged off by some kind of beast. I managed to survive those creatures, and an old woman told me Rose is here, somewhere. I need to find her before those monsters get to her, too. That's all we have in the diary so far. We have these files, such as the mission briefing, which we saw when we crashed. The scribbled note. This is interesting to me, because it almost implies that the villagers wanted to be eaten by the lichens. The lichens being the wolf monsters. Ethan's diary. So the fridge memo is here. The old news clipping is in here. There's part two. Ethan's diary. Oh, interesting. That thing we pulled up on the computer was cons considered part of his diary. February 6th. Which was recent. Yeah, that was also the medical checkup. So we've seen all this. The tips are just how to use this. It's like a tutorial thing. So... I think it's interesting, because I do theorize that the lichens were not an unexpected thing. I think they were known by the villagers in their lore. They were known to eat people, and it almost sounds like the villagers wanted to sacrifice themselves. Like, clearly some of them are like, please don't kill me. But for the really devout, you wouldn't see them protesting because they would have offered themselves and died before the events of the game. So you just would not know that they would have willingly let themselves be eaten like that. We'll eventually get into all these doors, I imagine. Let's look at the obvious. This statue in the center. Someone with a sword and a shield defending the village, most likely. A goat head symbol. There's no plaque. So we don't know what this is. There are also graves. Oh, ceremony site. Castle Dimitrescu. This grave is written in a language that can't be read. It almost looks like cuneiform, like Sumerian cuneiform. Which is fascinating because there are no languages like this in Europe. There's nothing that looks like this. They have an interesting symbol on them as well. Oh, that actually, if you look really close, you can kind of read it because it says, For the Joel Paraline, daughter of someone, of someone, the dearly and revered of Edward Edge. She died at blank years ago, something like that. So it is a little bit legible. Now, some of these are going to be too small to read. Some of these have actual bodies in them, I imagine. I am curious if any of them have something special. Here we go. This one has an herb. I don't work in cemeteries, so I do not know for sure if this is the case it seems that these have bodies in them whole bodies for those who want to be buried as is and then others are just gravestones with urns most likely have cremations in them and sometimes if you have only a tombstone it means they couldn't recover the remains so the tombstone remains a memory of the person and this is a lot of death and a lot of graves I'm looking for any of them to have some kind of lore importance, but um, the game isn't calling attention to it, and I don't think it would hide it too much. Now let's look at this. 
This is, we offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. So, they're gonna feel my wrath. Or I'm gonna feel her wrath. You know I mean. I got Cynic as an achievement for breaking a goat. So, I bet if I die, it's because I touched this goat. This is why I'm going to die. It's not for any other reason. It's not for trying to find my daughter. It's, I touched that goat. I'm going to die. That is why. <laughs> I just noticed this. Yellow, red, blue, white yarn. Gunpowder. Also locked. Blocked by a wagon. Probably also locked. Yeah, something. This looks touchable. Oh yeah, all these need some kind of item, probably, to roll it up. Rusted scrap. I don't know what to use those items for yet. But here's the obvious. The lights are pointing the way. Candles. Flowers by the graves. I'm curious if there are graves of important family members. Here's something. But before that... Was I supposed to check anything? This is Castle Dimitrescu. Oops. Family foe. Put it in. Leads to the castle. I guess this leads to the castle, he says. I accidentally interrupted it by pressing F and trying to click something. No important graves, so I go to what looks like a little church. Right? Stronghold Graveyard Mill. This is a different way, I think. I imagine this is also locked. Yes, it is. Decorated with a crescent six-winged being. So I thought that is important to point out, is the orientation of where everything is in this village. That's the map. That is cool. So you can kind of zoom out and see where everything is. We only know the village square is probably all that we know in terms of the orientation of things. Now let us go in here, which looks like a church. Let's actually circle around the building to see all these gravestones. There are these religious paintings put into the wood. It almost looks like uh, saints. In fact, it looks like Christian saints, as in they didn't try to cover this up or change its history. This has looked like that for centuries, most likely. It is a small building, which is never well, and the entirety of it is covered in Christian iconography. Christian icons are icons, however you pronounce that word, it is an Eastern Orthodox trait. I don't know if there's anything fancy about the door, anything special. This is a small church. Small churches like this are actually pretty common in Europe, where they're about the size of a house. They are now decorated with the same kinds of Mother Miranda paintings we saw in the other place. And they're repetitive, so they're a bunch of the same. I don't know what's special about the towels with the plates. It's probably some kind of style. Now yeah, I can save. My first save. And there are these interesting chairs for those who are unable to be in the pews. Pews are designed this way so that it's easy to kneel in prayer. And this one, only a few pews. Now, this is the main altar. The Maiden Crest. And this is a map. Should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crest. One is in the care of the church, the other is at Louisa's house. Can I... Interesting. No, I didn't mean to. There we go. Let's try to see if I can examine it closer. And yes, I can. So Louisa's house is there. And you can see the writing of, should anything bad happen? And here's the church. Okay. So. It's an interesting rug. There's more paintings up there. And a weird shiny light. 
I think you're supposed to shoot down, but I think I have no ammo. So, we'll look at that later. For now, here's the main important part. Here at this altar, we have four lords. The Mother Miranda, and the other four lords. Something I noticed is that they seem to offer flowers to the lords. They offer candles, and they have a maiden press here, and more flowers to Mother Miranda. And then... More flowers. Wait, that is not just a flower. What is that? It almost looks like a fungus. That is so hard for me to tell. I wish I could zoom. I could only do that. Whereas that's a bouquet, and that's a vase of flowers, and so is that. This guy is the only one who has nothing. He's not the favorite of the villagers. This one, she is loved. Oop, whoop, whoop. You are loved as well, and oh my god, you have a whole bouquet for yourself. You're probably the favorite. That's my guess. Mother Miranda is, of course, the god of this place. Let's see. They chose the painting of the burning and the painting of the virgin and the child. Mother Miranda. Fitting. So all of that lore stuff I find interesting. Probably the most interesting. Gameplay is secondary to lore. So cool. Whoa, you can see the castle in the distance from here. It looms much larger than the church. This place is so small compared to that castle. I don't think you can see any other uh, landmark. I think I accidentally just put myself in an area I'm not familiar with, because I don't remember that scarecrow. And I don't remember this house. More flower. Items, maybe? So we have more of those things running around. The lichens. Ooh, found my first mine. Among the dead plants. Sorry if my camera's wonky, I'll be moving and then confused. Don't pull out that mine unexpectedly, Ethan. We don't want to go boom, do we? So that's something I find annoying. Is that uh, Ethan just swaps weapons for no reason. I've heard that these scarecrows are actually the corpses of real people. So, I see the hats. I don't see a head or a body. So I don't know how true that is. This is interesting. It's like bones and teeth. Or even a flute. Yeah, whenever I look like this and then look back, it's because my eye caught something while I was moving and then I don't complete looking because I get confused. So, I'm not trying to mess with you, just go away. I don't have bullets. I didn't want to use a mine. So, I am trying to avoid that. As you can see, Ethan, we don't have bullets. Open. Close the door. Please. <laughs> Why would I leave it open? They're coming after me too. What are you doing here? Um, you're supposed to answer that. Stay. Okay, you're just showing him. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just. I only have a knife. No ammo. Last. <laughs> have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering, and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. He's xenophobic. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. He's still holding the knife. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> he still has that knife. Uh, I can move it around with my feet, apparently. Funny. And she's just like, what are you doing? Get help. Alright, let's see. Nice fireplace. This. Broom. I'm also looking for items, not just going, ooh, lore the whole time. I can go out this window. 
She said close the door, but she didn't say close the window, so let's get out here. Stop pulling out the mine, Ethan. We don't need it. Not yet. No, stop. <laughs> yes, finally, ammo, so you can pull out something else instead of the mine. Ah, oh, goddamn. Let's see. That looks like an item. Gunpowder. I imagine I can hop over this, yes. Outhouse. Any items? Chem fluid. Very good. Now we can actually see what this outhouse looks like. I can't jump, but I find the tile patterns to be kind of cool. They're like flowers. Stop pulling out the mine, Ethan. You don't want to blow up the outhouse. There's no other plumbing in this village. Kidding me? Ew. Uh-huh. Damn. Need to get those two inside. Okay, so I'm guessing this is actually Louise's house. We just gotta unlock this, I think. That's gotta be it. Get Come out on, here. It's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. Yeah, I don't know how the lichens are not coming. There were clearly two of them right behind me before. Because I like looking at things, sir. What's it like to not observe your surroundings? He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll hey, let's make excuses. Here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. From the lichens? Until now? Father? So that also implies that we the lichens have, have been inside. here for a long time. And the villagers have been reliant on Mother Miranda to keep them away. And only now she just stopped caring. Just hold on a bit longer, Papa. He looks messed up. Stop pulling out the mines, Ethan. We don't want to blow up our new so friends. Much blood. I don't even see a drop of blood, except maybe on his face. Just, just why would you pull out a mine right now? Hello? Are you gonna let me in? I have a mine. Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Lol. Yeah, she don't like you. Shouting, you'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Hello. Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no they'll smell I mean, the blood. The door is open. Us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. Hello. You're not from this village. Nope. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Everyone knows each other you here. Go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! <laughs> he spooks. He's like, ah, oh, man. Yell that. So scary. Well, I'm leaving. If Elena trusts He's you, not leaving. Then so do I. Okay, cool. Come inside, Ethan. <laughs> Yulian does not leave for anything. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Alrighty, we are waiting. I do like looking at things. They have the same kinds of pillows as everywhere else. They have a save. They have this. Louisa, they broke in again. Got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? Yes, I'm still thinking that the lichens have been a problem for a long time. And that only recently something was done about it. This way. Hmm. Okay, A to turn the page. I thought it would be D. So, I've seen that statue. I've seen that building with the water wheel. I bet each building has historical importance. That That's interesting with all those pillars. There's the windmills. And what looks like the reservoir. The factory. And that's where it ends. Which could read the writing, but it doesn't say that it says anything. So those are just probably the more important historical landmarks. Some people that look historical, maybe important. Some of these are repetitive from a different villager's house. Come inside, the others are waiting. 
curtains instead of doors. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, <laughs> you're gonna get us all killed. Quiet, Anton. Yeah, just you yell louder. Get the lichens in here. <laughs> doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. I can see that dead body's chilling on the couch. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left. All that's left. There is no one left. There's like six people, seven a with Julian. Invalid. A stupid, wailing bitch. And you, I mean, that looks like her dead husband right there. You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing, and expect to be all safe. Yep, that's right. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. I didn't see Tomorrow? anyone out there actually. I think they're eating. Tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. It <laughs> points to the body as yeah, she's screaming. Here, That's enough. <laughs> this house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. They don't even call them the lichens, they call them the monsters. They Interesting. Kept coming. Wait, Louisa. And... Where is your husband? Did they. No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He... We'll go look for him. No he went worries. To get help. Yes, yes, that's. Everyone that's remember it. Louisa's he husband. Went to fetch help. Because we'll go find him. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. For the dead Kinda. guy. Come. For my baby. Gavin. For my wife. For us all. You too, buddy. Oh, I guess not. He's left out of the circle. Exiled. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so, so we make our sacrifice, sacrifice and await the light at, at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. <laughs> the way they look up passionately. No, <laughs> the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. We did. There was an old woman near the graveyard. I don't think she was using that prayer. Maybe she was. <laughs> Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> he's laughing too hard. He's gonna die. Oh, he's getting raped. What are you doing? Leonardo, what's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> he finally snapped and lost it. <laughs> So much for the no, house no. having protective powers. No, no. She's gonna join her husband. No. 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 We have to go. Yeah, he seems like he finally lost it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think I was out of ammo. Let him go. Youch. That's gotta hurt. I got shot like that earlier. Lena? I said no! Oh man, she finally stood up to her father. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, father. Hey, hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> yeah, don't mind him being covered by no, fire. No. There's nothing you can do. He's fine. Mother! This entire place is collapsing! You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Together. Yeah, I don't think you want to be left in a burning building, Elena. So... We gotta get out of here, but because of YouTube being a jerk, we're actually gonna pause right here and continue after this.